Well, welcome to Christ and Culture. This is Pastor Jeff Short, your Bible teacher and cultural commentator. And today we're going to be looking at someone that I see a lot in the news. I see a lot in on television. I hear a lot on podcasts, radio, and that is Kathy Lee. Now, Kathy Lee, uh, since she's left television on the Today Show, has pretty much still been in the public eye because she has written a number of best-selling books and she's appearing on radio shows, podcasts, uh, guest television appearances. She seems to be all over the place and she's a Christian, she claims. She says she's a Christian and she talks like a Christian, sounds like a Christian. And yet if we examine what she is saying and examine what she's doing, Uh, She's actually not representing Christianity, and she's not representing Christ very well, because what, in essence, she's doing is redefining Christian values and morality to fit easy and comfortable with the secular, immoral age that we live in. Now, this is common among celebrities who are also claiming to be Christian. Uh, Quite often, you will find them fitting in very nicely with the Hollywood crowd or with the entertainment crowd or with the contemporary pop music crowd. And you see them all over the place, and they just seem to be able to blend very well with any crowd they're with. And this is the way it is with Kathy Lee. Uh, She can be sitting in a secular, godless New York studio Uh, taping a segment of the Today Show and talking with secular people, and she's fitting right in, she's laughing and joking, and she seems to be on their wavelength. And then she'll come into a Christian setting, whether it's a church or a Christian ministry show she's on as a guest or Christian radio show or podcast, and she seems to be able to talk the Christian talk and fit right in there. So she's attempting to bridge both worlds, the secular world and the Christian world. But if you look at actually what she's saying in the secular world, she is not representing God accurately. And that's the big problem with not only Kathy Lee, but a lot of the celebrities who like to uh, also be public Christians. Uh, They're not consistent in their message, and they're actually inconsistent. So I want to talk today about the inconsistency of Kathy Lee on the issue of the LGBTQ movement. Now, as Christians, we understand very clearly what the Bible says. We understand that all people are made in the image of God. It says in the book of Genesis that God made them two classes, male and female, right there, right the, in the beginning, placed Adam and Eve in the garden, male and female. And then Jesus Christ in the New Testament underscored that. He said, a man shall leave his mother and father, male, female, and shall be joined to his wife, male, female relationship, a new marriage, and they will become one flesh. So there's this gender binary from the very beginning and also reinforced and taught by Jesus Christ and all of the Christian teachings for 2,000 years have always uh, emphasized and underscored that marriage is between a man and a woman. And it really wasn't even a disputed thing because it's so clearly obvious. But now we come into crazy town, and that is the modern time, And we have people so-called transitioning from male to female. And let's just see how Kathy Lee, our Christian, so-called Christian in the public square, is explaining this. And when you look at what she's saying, she's actually muddling it totally up. She's confusing things. She's saying things that don't make sense from the Bible standpoint. She's mangling and twisting theological understandings. She is not stating the Christian position on these things. And yet she's a visible, publicly uh, 
identifying as Christianity, and she evidently is trying to speak for Christianity, and people are interviewing her, Christians are interviewing her like she speaks for Christianity, and yet at the same time, she's not speaking for Christianity, and she's not teaching the truth concerning gender. So let's go through here, and I'll point out some some grave errors here. And I don't know if it's just a confusion on her part, or whether she actually knows that this is not true, and yet she just can't get herself to actually teach the truth in a public square where she knows she'll get pushed back and maybe even canceled if she comes out with the truth. I don't know. Maybe she actually is naive enough to think that what she's saying is in accordance with Christianity. Maybe she's convinced herself that she can live in two worlds. She can live in the secular world and the Christian world and actually uh, get along with both by basically wishy-washy Christian theology and Christians are loving and accepting enough to just overlook all that. Or she really says, I am going to come up with my own theology and then call it Christian. I don't know what she's doing, but we need to be aware that there are celebrities like Kathy Lee who seemingly speak for Christianity. She is putting herself out there as a Christian, and she's trying to teach people how to think and how to believe about these certain issues, and she's actually getting it all wrong. The bad thing about it is there are people who are listening to her. There are Christians who are listening to her. There are young people who are listening to her and actually think that what she's saying is true when it, in fact, is not true. So let's look at a clip. This is from about seven years ago when Bruce Jenner was doing his transitioning thing, trying to convert from male to female. And so this is when this was big news. I remember uh, walking into the grocery store and in the checkout line, here is this tabloid newspaper with a big picture of Bruce Jenner trying to dress up like a girl. And I thought, what in the world is going on? And we all were caught by surprise because this man is a prized athlete. He was the winner of the decathlon in the Olympics for the United States, won a gold medal, has been always known as a athlete. And now he is trying to present himself as a woman and trying to introduce, I guess, to everyone the whole idea of transgenderism and transitioning and all of these kinds of things. That's when he began to promote this. And let's just see what Kathy Lee, uh, supposedly the Christian in Hollywood and Christian on television and Christian in the public square, let's see how she breaks this down. And I'm going to stop and, and break in at certain times to simply comment on what she's saying, because what she's saying is just so false, and we need to be aware of that. So let's uh, roll this clip, and then I'll comment on pieces of it. Of course, nobody is talking about anything other than, um, well, let's look at the yeah, headlines. Thieves. You know what's funny about this, and Kath, you've, you, you know, you've known uh, Bruce and and Chris yes. forever. Yes. Um, you know what's so funny? This is just how removed I am from the whole thing. So yesterday I was about to do my radio show. It was 1.30 in the afternoon. And my producer comes up over at Sirius and she goes, I guess you're going to want to lead with this. And she plops down this picture. And I go, I, I don't know her. And I go, no, I don't think so. Because sometimes I thought, well, maybe it's from some weird show I've never seen. I go, no, thanks. And she goes, no, no, no. look closely. I think you want to lead with it. And I looked, I go, I don't know. Call me Caitlin. Like, who's Caitlin? <laughs> And she said, look again. And I looked again, and all of a sudden, boom, like it, yeah. all of a sudden you see his features pop up. But it just shows how, how different that image is from the one, I mean, you've known forever. Yeah, I think the Daily News actually is, um, expresses it. There is, there is a sense of by Bruce. Yeah. Because he was so much a part of the, of the uh, he was an iconic figure. Yeah. And he was, he represented, you know, the, who goes on a Wheaties box. Yeah. You know, and and um, and I loved Bruce, mm -hmm. and I still love Bruce, mm -hmm. and I'm going to learn to love Caitlyn because mm -hmm. I, I I've only spoken to her, 
-hmm. but I have not been in a room with her. Mm -hmm. And um, and so when I was talking to her on the phone uh, a couple, maybe a month ago, right before the Diane Sawyer thing, uh -huh. uh, it still sounded like my friend Bruce, even though what we were talking about was about the transitioning. So, um, you know, I, I'm glad that he's that she is being treated as as lovingly in the public uh, with this, because it does take a lot of courage to do what she's doing. OK, so let's stop it right there. This is the typical LGBTQ ally activist party line talking points. And here we see our Christian in the public square, Kathy Lee, following right along with the LGBTQ talking points. Uh, she's going along the same lines and saying, well, it took a lot of courage for Bruce Jenner to transition into womanhood. And uh, we need to extend to him a lot of grace and understanding if that's what he wants to do. The total LGBT talking points. And here the Christian Kathy Lee is mimicking or copying or reading from the same LGBTQ talking point playbook. This is not appropriate for a Christian to say that it took a lot of courage for Bruce Jenner to transition into a transsexual woman. It, it does not take a lot of uh, courage to do this. It just takes a lot of gall and it takes a lot of nerve and it takes a lot of rebellion against the God who made you male. It is not a thing to be commended. It's not a thing to be respected or honored. It's something to be rebuked and corrected and refuted. This is not a positive thing. And yet Kathy Lee is on public TV in front of millions of people. And I don't know if she doesn't know what she's saying is wrong, but this is the wrong take on something like this. We do not uh, want to encourage people to do what Bruce Jenner has done. We do not want to uh, promote this in any way. We do not want to be positive toward this. And yet Kathy Lee is taking this overwhelmingly positive, sensitive, understanding approach, which is totally inappropriate for a Christian to take. And she's going to actually get worse as she goes along, as we'll see as we continue this video. But it also is, is a very difficult process mm -hmm. for the family. Yeah. You just have to put yourself in their shoes. And um, so you can celebrate one person's triumph and, 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 and also be aware that it's, it's something that other people are dealing with. Uh, no, we do not celebrate Bruce Jenner and we do not call this a triumph. Again, this is not a Christian response to a massive, massive rebellion against God and the, and the way God made you. God made Bruce Jenner male. Every cell in his body screams male. Him trying to be a different sex or gender is rebellion against the creator who made him the certain way. Okay, that's not something to be celebrated, but that's what Kathy Lee is saying. She's saying we can celebrate him and we can call him brave and we can do all these things, but we have to think about how it's hard on the family. Of course it's hard on the family. This man who is the father of children and the wife of a woman is now turning his back on his children and turning his back on his wife and basically saying, I'm going to do what I want to do, whether it disrupts everyone's life or not. This is not a good thing. So, Kathy Lee, why are you being positive about this? Why are you acting like this is a thing to celebrate? This is not a Christian explaining a Christian perspective on this. This is a very confused woman who wants to live in both worlds and keep both sides happy. And this is not something that pleases God when she's talking like this. This is talking foolishness. Very uniquely and differently mm -hmm. and privately in their own ways. Yeah. And I'm just hoping that grace will be the, our, our guiding force with this. Because 
Um, well, yes, we want to uh, extend grace to all people, but we also want to bring him into the real world of reality, and God has created the real world in a gender binary fashion. He has created men, and he's created women. And grace does not mean you fail to speak the truth. Grace does not mean that you let someone like a Bruce Jenner get away with falsehoods and promoting a lie, which he's doing. And now Kathy Lee is perpetuating that lie by saying, well, let's extend grace to him. Well, let's also extend correction to him. Let's extend a rebuke to him. Let's refute the error that he's bringing into the world and promoting and influencing people with. We don't just come at this from a sentimental, wishy-washy, emotion-based uh, perspective. We come at this from a truth-centered perspective. The truth will set you free, Jesus said. And the truth is, Bruce Jenner is a male, will always be a male, will never be a woman, and per- going along with his lie and falsehood and delusion is not a loving thing. It's not a gracious thing. The best thing you can do is try to set him straight and say, Bruce, you need counseling. You need help. You need deep psychological assistance. But we cannot, in in love, allow you to perpetuate this delusion in your life and spread that delusion in society. We need to correct you. That's the Christian perspective. And that pe- people will continue to be kind. And you were talking about like the essence of a person. I think that's an interesting. Well, you thought. know, I don't believe pe- that God makes mistakes. That's my personal opinion. I do. Well, wait. Are you speaking as a Christian from the biblical perspective, or are you just muttering your own philosophical musings that you've come up with by reading this book or that book or this psychologist or interviewing this person? If. God doesn't make junk right. God doesn't make mistakes correct. So the logic of that would mean that Bruce being made a man when he was born, a boy, and then grew up to be a man, God didn't make a mistake. So he should not try to correct what God didn't mess up on. And God didn't mess up by making Bruce Jenner a male. So Bruce should not try to correct that. That's the logic of what she just said, but she's going to flip it around and say, well, whatever Bruce wants, Bruce should be able to have. No, whatever God wants. I do believe that God creates, he loves what and who he creates. He, God is, if you believe that God is love, then God loves, he cannot hate, right? Okay. They say, was there anything God can't do? Yeah, he can't hate. He can, Mm -hmm. he loves, that is his essence. So I was talking to Caitlin, not, and I knew, she, he told me her new name at the time, but, it, it, you know, you have to get used the to these, the pronouns. I'm confused. But I, but I basically said... Well, why do you have to get used to the pronouns? Again, why do we have to get used to pronouns? Why do we have to get used to people casting their delusional fantasies on the world and we have to conform to their delusional fantasies? Why? Why do we have to get used to the pronouns? See, this, these are two women putting their nonsense together and trying to process something that actually involves theology and thinking through these issues carefully. And Kathy Lee is just spitballing here. She's just throwing things out there to see what sounds good, what makes her feel good, what makes other people feel good. This is not how you represent reality. You don't just uh, talk and talk and talk until you get to the point where you feel good about what you said. No, this is this is nonsense. You know what? What God created in you is is the essence of you. You're the the uh, the being that you are. Whether you t- t- call yourself a man or a woman, whether you transition, right. whether you have your genitalia changed, this body that we're all in is is temporal. Mm-hmm. This is and, and our soul, mm-hmm. I think, is what is eternal. Mm-hmm. Well, yes, definitely the Bible teaches that we have a soul, and that is eternal. But he places us in a body, and that body is either male or female. So it matters, because God made it that way. He willed it that way. He has a will for Bruce Jenner. His will is for him to express his maleness. And just as Kathy Lee's 
the will of God for her is to express her femaleness. We don't have this soul that can interchangeably go between male and female and back and forth. No, that is incorrect. That is not what the Bible teaches, and yet that's what Kathy Lee is spouting off here. So that being that God created uh, was not a mistake, yeah. and God loves that person, however she sees herself. Uh, yeah, he loves that person, but that doesn't give that person the right to override or veto God's will for their life. If God, if God made Bruce Jenner a male, then that's what God wants Bruce Jenner to be. And to try to change that after the fact is just pure rebellion against God. It's not God's will. And she needs to say that instead of trying to make excuses like she's doing. That's, that's, I think that's spot on, Catherine. The, the transition, I think you, you, know, you wondered how the transition was going to be. And the, this Vanity Fair article is very, very revealing. It yeah, talks it's about... It's 22 pages long, and it's, it's, it's yeah. really thorough. It it's a disgrace. It talks about how Caitlin underwent a 10-hour facial feminization surgery. It's supposed was, to be five, right. and it ended up being 10. And after it was over, she had a, a panic attack. Like The next she, day. Yeah, she got up and thought, oh, my God, what have I done? What have uh, I done? Yeah. So she walked around the house. She was trying to, you know, catch her breath. And it was that feeling of you've already done it. And, and, and there's no turning back. And there's no turning back. But uh, she had a counselor who came in and said, look, this is what happens. It's normal. Take a breath. And he said, no, since, it's not said, normal. Since that moment, she hasn't looked back. So it was a one off kind of the, panic the, thing. The, the good news about all of this is that it has really sparked a discussion of it. Yeah. And um, I think it will help many people who have gender issues. They're not going to feel alone because it, it, uh, right. the, the good news is, is that it sparked a conversation, but the bad news is we're going to get viewpoints like Kathy Lee and Hoda just spitballing and pooling their ignorance together and basically looking for some solution that makes everybody feel good or doesn't uh, hurt anyone's feelings or offends anyone or is politically correct. And that's not how you think through these issues. So yeah, I'm glad there's a conversation started, but the conversations need to be based on truth and not just um, emotions and feelings like we see here. It's your heart reading the article about it. And again, when I've known him since 1982, Frank's mm -hmm. known him since 1976. Mm -hmm. We went all around the world together on different family trips and things. And uh, I think everybody has mm -hmm. heard that we're godparents to their two children, Kendall and Kylie. And so there's a there's a familiarity, there's an intimacy there. Mm -hmm. uh, I never saw breasts on on him ever. And we, you know, he's went swimming all the time and diving off right. boats and right. all those water skiing. No, you wouldn't because things. he's a man. He's, yeah, but I never yeah. saw that. Yeah. Um, he so, never um, had them. You know, it's, it's not a he said, she said thing. It, it's a let's deal with what is now. Yes, that's and, exactly and, right. And, all, and again, try to deal it with grace. Deal with it with grace. Yeah, I mean, when you look at the... Well, how about deal with, with it with truth? How about deal with facts? How about deal with biology? How about get real? How about wake up to real life? And what he's doing is a sick uh, appropriation of womanhood. It's woman face, you might say. It's it's not healthy. It's not good. Uh, grace does not mean that you don't correct someone when they're doing error. That's what intervention is about. You come into someone's life and say, hey, we love you, and we're going to tell you the truth, whether it hurts or not. Yeah, the, the Annie Leibovitz photo shoot is... Um is one of those things, I guess, Annie Leibovitz afterwards said she cried after, yeah. after the well, end of it. Uh, what does that have to do with anything? She cried. Again, you cannot process reality by simply taking a poll of your emotions and saying, yeah, that makes me feel good, that makes me feel bad, blah, blah, blah. It's it was very such an emotional, emotional time. Um, it must have been, wow. He's, he, and I think his tweet was something like, now he can yeah. uh, breathe easy, or she, she can. can. Yeah. You know, the pro, and he, she, <laughs> she Everybody's said that she understands it. that people have issues with pronouns and not... Yeah, this is ridiculous. They're struggling to figure out what to call a he, she. It's crazy. It's, it's twisting, making people twist into pretzels to accommodate someone who's actually mentally ill and needs help. Intervention time, not encouragement time. To get so freaked out about it because obviously and i have to tell you i was i was scrolling through twitter yeah when it i mean he had 1.9 million an hour ago i'm sure it's up to beyond two now but 
you know when you're scrolling and just looking to see what's the tone? I, usually, in, on Twitter, where you can be invisible and you can say whatever horrible thing you want. Anonymously, like, right. Yeah, I was looking. I was like, oh, my gosh. There's like, it yeah. seemed, and I could, I didn't see any. I mean, I'm sure there were some ones that were unkind. But to think that you could have, uh, you know, almost 2 million followers and millions and millions just of like tweets. And, and people are being supportive. The one uh, thing. Uh, that's not a good thing in this case. And it isn't being unkind to actually remind Bruce that he's still a man. He has the same chromosomes as he had before. He will never be a woman, even if he has all kinds of surgery and he dresses like a woman and puts on a wig or combs his hair a certain way. He will never be a woman. And to encourage him in his mental illness and delusion is wrong. And these women should be ashamed of themselves for sitting there and actually trying to encourage him and others, people that have his problem. That is a wrong approach. And Kathy Lee should know better as a Christian. That everybody doesn't, I don't, is no one's talking about is that this um, is a huge moment for her, but it doesn't mean that her life is going to be problem free now. Yes. I think sometimes yeah. we think of, well, I could just get that. If I could just do that, then yeah. my life's going to be perfect. There is no such thing as a perfect life. Right. We still have and, problems. And she's going to go through life. And, and, and um, I, I think it was interesting in the article, it talks about 20 some percent of, of people who transition do not change their gender, do not right. have that, that genitalia, their genitalia surgery. changed. Right. So, so now there'll be sexual questions that she will face. And, yeah. and uh, you know what, I, 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 I love the family. I disagree with a lot of the decisions they've made through the years, but friends mm -hmm. love you through thick and thin, right. or else they're not a friend and right. they find a different word to use. Well, they also tell you the truth and try to be honest with you and don't encourage harmful behavior. So this is an example of a celebrity, Kathy Lee, who likes to say that she's a Christian and likes to talk about Christianity and likes to talk about God and likes to talk about love and talks about Jesus and talks about the gospel and yet failing miserably to accurately represent the faith that she professes. And you might as well have somebody who isn't even a Christian up there because she's basically talking like a non-Christian about this issue. She's taking the same approach as a non-Christian would take. She's saying the same things as a non-Christian. And I don't see what help this is if she's trying to uh, bear witness for Christianity in the secular world. And, and you also learn about his other children in the article yeah. more than you don't <laughs> really hear from Kendall, Kylie, or any of the Kardashian girls. You hear from, from his, his, his first other children, yeah, which I, I don't know about. very well. Yeah. I don't Okay, so they're going to just chit-chat some more, but, but my point is this. Um, we have to expect more from our celebrity spokesmen in the world. Um, if you're a Christian and you're a celebrity and you're going to be interviewed by people and you're going to represent the Christian faith, you have to first of all know what the Christian faith is and you have to be able to communicate it. Kathy Lee fails on all those points. This is not a Christian response to transgenderism. This is not an authentic, biblical Christian response to uh, Bruce Jenner and his attempted transition. And this is not representing Christ accurately. So a word to the Christian celebrities, so-called. If you're going to talk about Jesus Christ and you're going to claim to be a Christian in the public, get it right. Don't be a part of the problem in this world. Be a part of the solution. Teach the truth. We'll see you back next week on another program. God bless.